Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Japan D, I'm going to be talking to you about how hard the coursework is here, studying abroad in Tokyo. So, just for a little、uh, background on me, I'm a study abroad student out here at Lakeland University of Japan, out here in Tokyo,、uh, Shinjuku to be more specific. And I gotta say, you know, I've been to a lot of universities, community colleges, things like that over the years. <laughs> and, you know, for me, I haven't really noticed any, any real difficulty difference between courses, you know, here versus back in America.、Um, it's about the same, really.、Um, and also, it just depends on a lot of factors like、uh, teachers. Uh, the courses, obviously, you know, if you're in like a AP math or something like that, you know, it's going to be a lot harder for me than it will be for somebody who's really good at math. And, you know, some teachers might be、uh, more willing to explain things versus others who are just kind of, here's the homework, here it is, that's how we're doing things.、Uh, but for me, I haven't really noticed anything, any major difference in difficulty studying out here versus back in America. But I will say that <clears throat> there are some differences in teaching styles. Even though this is an American school, there are a lot of、uh, non American teachers out here. And、uh, there are very slight differences in teaching styles. And、uh, depending on the teacher and the coursework and all that kind of stuff,、um, you might have to get some tutoring or maybe. You know, email them or ask for some help outside of class, you know, just to kind of clarify some things. Because that's something I noticed when studying for the midterms was、uh, just kind of what we discussed in class、um, versus what was on the midterm. Things were laid out a little differently, and just the structure of class is a lot different than、uh, what I'm used to. So it was kind of hard to、uh, like figure out what we talked about in class versus what's going to be on the test. So,、uh, just、uh, definitely keep that in mind. And、uh, communication is key. So, with that said, guys, this is the Andy Sign. Sign for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. And if you have any questions about studying abroad in Tokyo, Japan, be sure to leave them in the comments down below in the boob de boops. And I will do my best. To answer those questions. So, definitely looking forward to、uh, reading your comments below. All right, bye guys.